Right, this is going to be a really short lecture on matplotlib or matplotlib, specifically matplotlib pyplot. Uh, matplotlib in itself is a uh, set of Python uh, object and, uh, classes and methods that allow you to produce figures or plots. And uh, in general, you can use these uh, to, say, embed these figures in plots or um, applications, but the, the PyPlot package is an interface that basically reproduces almost one-to-one -one correspondence MATLAB functionality. And so if you're familiar with MATLAB, you can use uh, PyPlot in just a few minutes. So basically that just says what, what I just said, and, and uh, again, this is going to be really short because I'm going to assume that everyone knows how to plot in Mat MATLAB. Uh, therefore, if you know how to plot in MATLAB, you can be plotting in MATPLOTLIB, PyPlot in no time. So here's an example, of course, just like uh, everything in, in Python, all the modules, we, external modules we want to use, we need to uh, import them into the namespace. Uh, and then, you know, in this case, we'll in, imp import MATPLOTLIB, PyPlot as PLT or plot, and then, then we just have to um, basically preference, preface all of our MATLAB style plot commands with this PLT. So it's just PLT plot. In this case, we'll just plot the array 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, give it a Y label. And then the only thing uh, that you kind of have to do that's different is you have to explicitly put this show command there and uh, that'll produce uh, this figure here and you can see that it, you know, basically plotted the straight line. If you only give it one uh, array up here, then it's just going to plot, you know, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 against the indexes 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so that, uh, that's how that works. So then if you, if you give the plot command, just like in MATLAB, if you give the plot command two arrays uh, and then some information that you want, you know, red circles, uh, the, and I noticed this is identical to the command you'd issue in, in MATLAB. You can also specify the axis locations and then finally we just say show the plot and this is the figure we get. Um, and then finally, uh, you know, usually we'll use NumPy uh, data to, to, as an input to the plot command. In fact, uh, even if we explicitly, uh, you know, just type in the, the arrays like we did in the previous two slides, it does an internal conversion to NumPy arrays anyway. So uh, in this case, we're going to import NumPy, import matplotlib, pyplot, and then uh, assign a NumPy array, uh, and then and we're going to produce three plots. And again, you'll notice this is basically exactly as you would do it in MATLAB. So the first plot, we're just going to plot T against T, in the second, and that's going to be a red dashed line. And then we're going to plot t and versus t squared, and those are going to be blue squares. And then we're going to plot t and t cubed, and those are going to be green triangles. And then we just issue the show command, and we get this plot here. So I'll go ahead and show you one interactively. Uh, it's not going to do anything more complex than what's in those examples, but just to show you how you can use it on the, on the fly. So if we go ahead and run Python, uh, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, uh, and then we can just say, uh, for instance, x equals uh, np a range 100, y equals, we're just going to plot x squared. And so then we say plt plot xy um, plot show. And there's the figure. So you can see the default is a blue line. I think that's exactly how it is in MATLAB. Uh, so when we close this window, it'll return us to the interactive prompt. And we could do something like, for instance, change it to a red dashed line. 
So this is how you'd use PyPlot. I assume that, uh, you know, I expect that most of you would use this uh, since you probably already know how to use MATLAB. Uh, this would be the most nat natural transition to uh, producing your plots. And of course, you can do 3D plots and uh, basically everything that, that MATLAB, MATLAB's plotting functionality can do.